Okay, so what we have here is a S-Pod, and a lot of people are, what the heck's an S-Pod? Well, basically you have a six switch center here that's completely isolated from the rest of the electrical system in the JK. You have one set of leads that goes over and hooks up off the battery. You have another lead that goes into the cab and it uh, hooks up to the switch panel inside. And what's great about this unit is we don't have to use any of the wiring in the JK. So we don't have to mess with the computers, we don't have to mess with the wiring, we don't have to work with the tip -em. The JK doesn't know that this is here. So this works out great for hooking up all of our electrical items. On this one right now we have an ARB compressor and two on-off switches for the lockers hooked up. Eventually in the next week or two we'll have a light bar and some other things hooked up to it. It's really nice because the JK doesn't know it's here and with the low voltage cutoff, it'll cut this unit off before the battery gets too low not to start the Jeep. Okay, so for hooking up your S-Pod to the battery, we have a uh, resettable circuit breaker right here. You can see the power lead just comes right off the side of the battery here, and then you have a negative cable that comes right off the battery here. And that's really all there is to hooking it up. That and you plug in the module, that, uh, the wires from the module that you run inside to the S-Pod and everything's done. Okay, so what we have is basically when you go to mount your S-Pod, Basically, you pull these two screws, you set the bracket down, and you tighten it back up. It's really easy. This bracket is in here now. It's, it's a really nice, easy install. Okay, so basically in here you have your uh, interior switch panel. And what we've done here is we've just used the uh, ARB covers for the lockers and the compressor so it makes it easy to find. But this unit installs very easily. You just basically pull this panel out and this installs into here, you run the wire out. It's really simple. You can usually do these in a couple hours. They're not super hard. But basically with uh, all this switching in here, you don't have to go through any of the wires in the Jeep. You don't have to tap into anything. You don't have to hunt down wires. Self-contained unit, it's, it's really awesome and it does a great job. Quinn over at All J just finished getting our S-Pod installed. Uh, he did the wiring. And there's actually a really good reason for it. This is a remarkably simple installation. But when I was a teenager growing up in Southern California, uh, the first time I tried to wire, I believed that smoke was what electricity was because every time I tried to wire anything, smoke came out of the wires. So I figured it'd be best to leave it to a professional like Quinn. So let's just give a quick test and uh, see how our S-Pod is working. Here uh, we've got our ARB air pump for the air lockers and we've got the front and rear lockers and we only use two of the remaining three switches and those are for driving lights uh, from KC. We've got a 20 inch light bar that the uh, fourth switch over operates and then a couple of uh, spotlights that are uh, round daylighters that uh, light up the edges of the trail so we can see where we're going. And then we have one switch left. So everything's working great. We'd have to get out on the trail and try the lights. We know the locker switches works, work because we've done those a few times. So we're going to head out and see, uh, see how the lights work. Yeah. 